Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode of Javier in the Air. So, uh, yes, I got a little dot right here. Not going to worry about it. Okay, so, um, as you see by the title, first of all, the uh, today's opening music is entitled Louvre, the Louvre, um, which I think is lover in French, or just love. I'm not sure, but it's the Louvre. Actually, I'm not even sure what it is, so I'm not going to lie to you. So, um, anyway, it's called the Louvre. Uh, it doesn't say who it is or who it's by, but um, it just call, it just says the Louvre. Once again, this is uh, royalty for music I'm using from my Filmora, so if anybody is really interested in wanting to know what it is, shoot me a message and I'll, and I'll figure it out for you. So, Okay, so as you see by the title, now back to what I was talking about, as you see in the title, I'm giving a garden update, maybe a little miscellaneous things, and then the rest is all about Max. For those of you who may not know who Max is, Max is the second youngest uh, nephew, niece, the, the youngest nephew, the second youngest uh, child uh, of my siblings. I don't know how, uh, work it out, whatever it is. So he's the youngest boy, he's my nephew, um, and he is exactly 38 years younger than I am, born on November 1st. Pew pew! That's a day for you. Uh, so he and I kind of birthday tokayos, if you know what that is. Um, so um, Max has been doing something called uh, School of Rock. For those of you who may only know it by the movie, it turns out that a business was started, uh, I don't know how many years back, and this is a franchisee of that business called School of Rock. So it's a very, uh, very interesting business uh, plan that they have. So what they do is they have kids of all ages that want to learn how to play music. So rather than just have to, okay, learn your scales, learn how to read music. All right, now, you know, go off by yourself and then come back and we'll show you, we'll run you in front of your parents and you go ding, 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 that sort of thing which is nothing wrong with that. My niece Andy did that for the piano and I think for the piano you have recitals like that and I think that is the way to go for that, for piano, the type of piano she was playing. Now, School of Rock, what they do is that they realize most kids, a lot of kids, I wouldn't say most, a lot of kids um, are more dive in and get going type of, of, of kids. They want to learn but they also want to start playing music right away because that's 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 the fun part of it so it, it gets it gets the children hooked but in a good way so um my nephew max has been playing for a while and um so uh the whole business thing is is that they they teach the child to play start them out as young as you want they teach them to play they start learning and they start learning some rock songs and they'll play you know this okay you this is oh you play that you play the drums this is what you're gonna play oh you play the bass guitar this is the song these are the songs that you're gonna learn so every time they learn a handful of songs how to play whatever instrument is of their choosing uh, my nephew has chosen the electric guitar and you learn the songs and then you actually go to a venue um, as if you were um, a major rock band and you get to go on stage and play not just for your parents and not just for your friends parents but for anybody that's at this venue for example uh what uh what i did last sunday is i went out to the field house which is off of uh scottdale and 183a brand new place they have a lot of things uh soccer and pickleball and and uh, sand volleyball and then they have an inside a uh, couple of fields I, I believe it's soccer and I, I think I saw like street hockey or something like that so I didn't go inside um, and then they have like a little uh, they have a menu there they have food trailers and then they have uh, a wet bar and you can uh, order beer or uh, very limited cocktails um, and then, or just regular drinks and then you get to sit outside or you sit inside if you have kids doing stuff on the inside but we were outside uh it was hot but we managed to find some shade and we were able to listen to my nephew max play so um 
uh, I believe they were playing, I don't believe they were playing a lot of Hendrix songs. I believe my nephew was um, in the group of kids that were only playing Hendrix songs. So there were some other, I believe they were playing some other, yeah, they were playing some other music, uh, other groups. And they have them by group. I think kind of by age, close to each age. They, you know, they have like, okay, all you kids are between, you know, 12 and 13. All right, all y'all can go and this is your group. And uh, all y'all are under, you know, 8. Okay, all y'all can go in that group. So they try to keep the kids as far as age close to one another. But it depends on your skill level too. So if you've been playing music your entire life and you're then you're 11 years old and you go to this school, they may put you in a higher higher placed uh, division, but the whole thing is it's kind of like um, judo or karate, but not as expensive. And they move you up as your skill increases. So you want to go there as long as you can until you start. I don't know. You join a, a, a band outside of School of Rock, or you go to uh, you know you start playing outside of the school. You start having your own band, however that is. So, needless to say. Um, I was out there to uh, support my nephew Max and I got to see him play about five songs so um, this is uh, I think I'm gonna mix it up today I'm gonna put one of the songs on right now play some of it and then we'll come back and we'll talk about the garden because I this is really this is really about Max this is for you Max uh, hopefully you'll be watching this uh, and I want to make it clear that I've on my other shows I've had my I've put posted stuff about my nieces, uh, my niece Andy and my niece Ashlyn and my niece Dallas. Uh, what you saw, if you haven't seen it, you can go back into the archives and you can see some of Dallas's wedding. Um, you can see some of uh, Tony's uh, color guard. Forgive me if I'm saying the wrong thing, Tony. Color guard. Uh, I don't remember the name of it. It used to be the Cavaliers, I think, but he's in something else now, so I don't want to. I don't want to insult him. So it was the Cavaliers, and then I've had, um, you know, I've had my nephew uh, Nando. I've had him, uh, in, you know, uh, do some, some not really on live interview, but I had him on here when he was doing. So I've shown some stuff of him doing track and and stuff. He does supply chain now. I need to get him on and talk about supply chain management and how that is going even though he's just breaking into that into that industry i'd like to hear from him anyway so uh nando if you watch this uh let me know when you're free so uh let's just throw uh let's just throw one out here of max playing now uh, i want to preface it by saying yes my nephew does look like a ramon he may be channeling one of the ramones uh if you're old enough to know the ramones or if you know your rock music and you know the ramones you may get what i'm talking about if you haven't watched, don't know who the Ramones are, look them up. Really, they were a fantastic band, three brothers. Um, so, let's throw one out there. Um, this is going to be one from me, so it's going to be a little bit further back in the crowd. Uh, and I think I kind of pointed out to him. Uh, hopefully it's not grainy, because I zoomed in a little bit. But uh, later on, I'll have some, uh, some very uh, good sharp shots from uh, Brother Rob. So, uh, let's just uh, throw one out there. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we got uh, we got my nephew Max uh, queuing up right now, uh, getting ready to play. It looks like if I can find him, there he is. Uh, of course, the group exactly where I thought I would have a perfect spot of him is now being blocked. So I'm gonna have to move here in a minute. Uh, let me show Rob off in the distance if I can get him. He's in the red, purple, red shirt over there. Um, there's one of the singers in green right there uh, so I think I can get him I'll stand up here in a second and zoom in so they're gonna be playing a little Jimmy as you heard earlier uh, looks like this side has it all
Yeah, all right. So there's uh, a little bit by the Maxter. Um, wasn't a very good one. Hopefully, I was moving all over the place. So I apologize for that. So uh, and I tried to get him in there. Uh, there's other there's other ones that will be uh, more of him and and closer up. I tried not to get too close so I wouldn't get in other people's way. I was in a perfect spot, like I mentioned, but uh, it was kind of further away. So we'll we'll see some better ones in a minute. Okay, so. Um, what we wound up what I wound up doing uh for my garden is um and by the way this is the garden part um I managed to get some of my lattice work around the garden bed for my vanilla loofa that's the actual name of the loofa seeds that I have are vanilla loofa so they are going like gangbusters tomorrow I am going to have to make a decision like I did a couple weeks ago for the watermelon I'm gonna have to make a decision and see which um, which loofahs I'm gonna have to get rid of so um, I planted about eight uh, seeds hoping that I could get at least 50% well it looks like I'm getting 75% growing so there is um, quite a bit of of growth there once i t attach them to the lattice unbelievable how quickly they d they have grown once i got them off the ground so it has been uh very hot but i have been watering uh, just about every other day so that is helping out it's definitely helping out the carrots at least the top part um so um that's the way that's the way it should be that's the way i like it so uh watermelons i'm having to look again too i may have to move some of them some of the vines to that go into the grass because it's it's they're growing so large uh and i hate to do any pruning yet because i i've only seen a couple of buds i'll show you i'll show you in next week's episode so anyway so i um have done that i also uh real quick want to talk about well you know what let's let's uh that was the garden so uh watermelon seemed to be going the carrot heads the two of them that i have one's about uh, quite high probably uh, 12 14 inches the other one's probably about six or eight those seem to be the only two that are growing so far um, of the watermelons I think I have the regular red the purple and I think the orange growing uh, or I might even have one of all four quadrants so I'll find out tomorrow and I'll put it on uh, I'll put it on on so we can see it next week um, so let's uh, let's watch some more of Max
Okay, so there you have it. So uh, just to give you a little background information on that song, uh, Brother Rob let me know that um, they had just really just learned this song like a couple of days ago, and they really didn't get to practice it much until yesterday. So anybody who knows anything about musicians, uh, you throw something at them at the last second, um, it's going to be a little difficult. And when you haven't had as much experience doing that as, as these kids have, uh, have not, then uh, it's going to be really difficult. So I think they did pretty decent. Um, uh, I know the the poor girl there, I think she forgot some of the uh, lyrics to the song, uh, but it kind of sounded like she was, uh, you know, mushing it, which I like because that's kind of how that song goes. So, uh, you know, there's to Jimmy. Yeah. All right. So, um, uh, and by the way, I don't mean to insult anybody outside of of my family uh and i'm just telling you like it is um i'm sure she's a very good singer and i'm sure she, uh, she did well on other songs i know this one was just a last minute for them so uh, uh no 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 harm no foul there for them okay so uh, another thing i want to talk about before we go back to the set that's right i got some lingo max um we are we as in me am trying to get some uh some more events going so that i can have some more uh interviews um uh i had people lined up for an event uh last night a singles event and it turned out that none of them were going to be uh available after all they forgot it was memorial day weekend actually one or two of them were going to no two of them were going to be available um uh but uh, realize that you know for an event at my house uh, trying to get group of people together for a singles group uh, three people just weren't going to cut it so um, you know for me to uh, have to make sure everything was ready and get all that stuff out and everything which I don't mind doing if I'm like on a date but when I'm we're just trying to get a group together to figure out what we're going to do but we can't get people together to form the group then uh, three people is not going to cut it so um, I'll try again next month or in July and see if uh, maybe I can get some people um, out here or at some event uh, once I'm uh, I'm driving on the weekend again. So uh, we'll see. Uh, but anyway, so um, let's go back to uh, more Max.
Okay, so there you have it. There's uh, Max exiting stage left. So, um, it was good. Uh, I'm going to have some more from Brother Rob. So, those are mine. Um, you know, I probably should have gotten a little bit closer, but I wanted to get the whole stage in there. Um, and next time I know, I'll get closer. Uh, but Rob's got closer, so that so that works out too. So, um, okay. So uh, for those of you who may not know, um, I got a new patio done. Talked a little bit about it uh, in previous episodes, but if you're new watching this, welcome. And um, I had a concrete slab poured, and I'm doing some other projects in the back, which is taking away some of the grass that I had or some of the blank spots I had I should actually say the grass I put in front of my uh, new patio slab is growing like gangbusters I got the right um, what do you call it parcels of grass uh, like you know little um, not a I didn't get a pallet's worth but I got some sod and I got pieces of sod and anybody who may have put sod in you know it's about um, two foot by three foot uh, rectangular sections and sometimes it's hit or miss I mean I've I've put some sod out before and they all die within two months you know you get nothing and then I put sod out there before like this and it has gone gangbusters so I think I got the right pieces of sod and I think I got the right combinations for so for those of you who may be putting out sod this summer or putting out sod, sod now before the summer um, my formula was this you um, get the clear off the area that you need um, I put down some weed barrier uh, you don't have to you're putting sod down so hopefully your grass will outgrow your weeds but you know how weeds are so I put some weed barrier down and then I put down soil uh, topsoil uh, meant for you know helping your garden and your grass grow and everything so good rich loam you know soil that's black so you know it's good because if it's light brown or dusty brown that th that stuff is like all the nutrients have been taken out of that soil that's more for filler anything so you can get filler soil but I got topsoil and I laid it down where I'm gonna put the, the sod where I was gonna put the sod and then I watered it so I didn't soak it like I ru you know run off and everything I didn't do a super soak on there I just did a mist on there and I got it wet and the reason why I got it wet was because I want to make sure that um, wet kind of meets damp, which is where the sod is, and then and and the sod will be attracted to the to the wet soil, and it'll want to it'll want to seed itself, and it'll want to plant, and it want to root in there. It doesn't if it's hard and it, it can't, it's got to break it up. It's not worth it. So yeah, soil is already broken up, but I recommend highly recommend you do mister on your uh, on your uh, water gun hose your hose gun and just mist it and then before you put the sod on water the sod now that the 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 dirt on there is thick and it's caked and it is not going anywhere so I mean unless you're putting a bullet spray on there to break it up it's not gonna be broken up so right before you put it on there saturate the hell out of that that piece of sod or you can do them all at once it's up to you depending on where you have the pieces of sod and then put them on there put them on there lay it all out lay it all out and then do another mist again a lot of water I get it but if you're gonna put sod on there you're gonna have to you know you're gonna have to be spending time on the water so from that point on I watered every day for the first 60 days I had it so not, it doesn't have to be heavy uh, you can even do misting if you want I recommend doing it early morning or late afternoon when the sun's already going down before while you can still see because you want to let the water sit on there you don't want it to be boiled away by the sun which is how my sun is here because there's no shade and you don't want it to burn the grass also because when it starts boiling off the heat from that soil from that it steams everything and so it's going to burn your grass and you're done so uh, I'll see if I can get a shot of the grass I have tomorrow but it is growing gangbusters crazy and it's thick it's like this hair it is thick you're not it's not thinned out like a, you know it's not a comb over this thing is thick so anyway that's my recommendation of um, 
how to put down sod. So um, if you want more interesting tips and tricks from Javier, Farmer Hob, uh, and Gardener Hob, uh, then stay tuned. I'll be doing a lot more this summer uh, as I try to get other things going. I think I'm going to try to get my pink banana plants going again if I can. I'd love to have some pink banana just so I could say I grew pink banana. So uh, now let's go to Brother Rob's, one of uh, Brother Rob's shots of Max uh, uh, tearing it up. Here we go. Yes, yes, that was Max right there, uh, doing a little bit of the solo action there. Uh, it looked like he wasn't getting enough uh, uh, loudness, as we'll call it, off of the speaker there. So he was trying to crank it up to 11. It goes up to 11, Max. So, uh, Rob, you can give him that reference if you uh, when he asked for it, if he's still watching the podcast. So that was Max there, jamming out. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit and then say goodbye and then we're going to roll out with Max. So now I'm hoping I haven't had any issues before because I haven't put a lot of uh, non-royalty music out there. So I don't know if they're going to say anything about uh, me playing Hendrix. Hopefully they won't so that I can get this out here and play it and have Max showing his chops. So um, I'm hoping that is the case. Um, if not, we'll find out. So anyway... Um, if you're interested in getting interviewed by me for Javier in the Air, uh, whether you're uh, personal and just want to talk about whatever, as long as it's not religion or politics, um, then hit me up and I'll love to have you on the show, have you out on the patio, and uh, we can talk about just about anything else. I will talk about anything else other than uh, religion and politics. Actually, I will talk about those two also, just not on the show. Um, so um, if you have a mom and pop business, by all means, reach out to me and and uh, we can talk about it. I've had Crazy Stacy on here and her jelly. I've had Beth Roundtree on here for her EXP realty, uh, commercial realty. Uh, she's a commercial realtor now. Um, and I've had a whole slew of others in previous seasons. So um, I'm not new to this. I know what I'm doing. So uh, I think it'll be great uh, for you and your business to be on here and talk a little bit about it. If you're local, then you can certainly come out. Uh, if you're local, I can certainly go and reach you wherever you are, your place of business. If you're not local, I can do something on Zoom. I've done it before, and I have no problem doing it. So um, reach out to me and, and see what you uh, see what you want to do. Also, I'm still looking for a co-host who may want to come on for an episode or two and kind of you know sit here in my studio and just kind of shoot the breeze about stuff and see where we go. You know, maybe we can start off talking about. Um, you know, uh, some current events, as long as it's not politics, and uh, then we can go off on tangents and just see where we go and have a whole episode about that. Um, also, coming up, uh, four more episodes to uh, the 100th episode of Javier in the Air. So, uh, if you've been on the show before and you'd like to give me a shout out for my 100th episode, uh, send me a video clip of you saying anything about how exciting or how great Javier in the Air was, and I'll get it on for the 100th show. So, um, there's my spiel. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching Max. I will give you updates next week on the garden and uh, other things that are going on in my world uh, but we're gonna t uh, we're gonna go out with uh, Max playing it to us and that's the show so I hope everybody has a good week uh, happy Memorial Day uh, thanks everyone to their service 
Uh, thanks to those who gave their lives for us uh, for Memorial Day. And um, I hope everybody gets to honor those who uh, were in the service for them. And have a good Monday, and I will talk to everyone again next Sunday. So uh, take it away, Max.